So what I've decided to do here with the rear shocks is I'm not going to use the tech bike part shocks that were given to me with the reservoir just because I want that look without the reservoir. The tech bike part shocks look like that uh, and they're actually on my other CX which I'm going to leave on there for a while. So I decided I needed to get myself a set of shocks which are here. I found these guys RFY, I have no idea. And for $90, I can't imagine them being fantastic. Uh, however, they are 10 centimeters longer than these guys, which may or may not put a little bit of stress on the uni joint that sits up in here. Uh, it'll give me a little bit more clearance given the fact that it's a scrambler. It's something that I thought I'd test. And 10 mil is 10 mil, whether you look at it um, as a good thing or a bad thing, I really don't know if this uni joint can handle the extra 10 mil because that's pretty much bottomed out at the moment. However, 10 mil, it's only ever gonna reach that extra length when it bottoms out completely. Like if I go over a bit of a jump, which could potentially happen a lot. So it's a trial and error thing. If it does end up flogging out the uni joint, then once again, lesson learnt. But I do think the extra 10 mil will make that extra difference. Uh, bringing the back end up, trying to make that scrambler look so I've gained a little bit of rear height due to the fact that I've taken the original 16 off and put an 18 on. Uh, so now by putting an extra 10 mil in the shocks, I'll still be able to put the rear stand down and should still clear, only just. So anyway, it's one of those things we're gonna have to try. So even though I'm only increasing the length by 10 mil, I'm still not a really big fan of doing this, uh, just purely because I think it could cause me a few problems down the track from one thing is just that uni joint. The only thing I can think of is just that uni joint inside here. But before buying these, I did do a little bit of research and I found guys who have put the extra 10 mil in there and they've been running the bike for a length of time and they haven't had any issues. So that's the only reason I decided to do it. Uh, like I said, it is a scrambler. It is a custom bike. You may have problems down the track doing certain things. I mean, everything that you do on a bike that you're changing it from factory could cause you problems. So, but for now, I'm just gonna throw them on, uh, see what they look like. And I may even just turn the wheel a bit and just check out that uni joint to see what's going on there. Hold the phone, hang on a second. Before I start this, one thing I do wanna mention is, I did ask a question in one of my videos about who wants to see what I do next on this bike. And so many of you guys said, I wanna see you do the hoop and the seat, which is awesome. And I really wanna get stuck into that. The only downside is that I ordered a hoop. I ordered a hoop specially made. So this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, but I wanna tell you what happened. So I ended up ordering a hoop for this to a specific size, width, as well as shape. Uh, now the company said, yeah, no worries, we'll get it done. I gave them dimensions and they never got back to me. So I said, oh, how's it going? And then since then, uh, as you probably know, if you saw my last video, I went to Bali. Thought by the time I get back, this thing will be definitely ready, definitely ready to be picked up. And they said they got a week turnaround. So what ended up happening is they didn't do it. And I said, well, I'm waiting for this thing. <laughs> Can you please just do it as an urgent job? And cut a very long story short, they end up giving me a run around and told me I'm gonna have to wait longer to get it done. So I ended up finding one. I found a guy who actually can bend it, but he's in the UK. So, and as you may know, I'm in Australia, so therefore, he's gonna make me one specific, exactly the shape that I want to fit this frame, which means as soon as that arrives, it's gonna be the next thing that I get done. So if you are waiting for the hoop and the seat video to come out, wait a little bit longer, maybe a few weeks, and I should be able to get that done. And like I said, I'm just waiting for that part and then I can get stuck into it. It's all I need. I have everything else in my head the way I want it to work out. So hang in there. It will be coming as soon as I can get that hoop. So let's get those shocks on.
So now that I've put the exhaust on, I've just taken the tank off because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to plug everything back in, uh, as in the electrical stuff. I'm going to put it all back together just quickly, just so that I can fire the bike up. Uh, and I just want to hear this exhaust. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that wants to see what it sounds like. So, so let's get everything connected back up and see if we can't get this thing running. I want to give a thank you and a big shout out to a guy called Just Tex. He became a patron the other day while I was in Bali uh, and I just want to say a big thank you because all those little things help. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way to help us as a creator create more content for you guys. It's just a small little donation to us, $2 a month or $5 a month, something like that to help us make more videos and all those little amounts add up. But what that means for you is I'm gonna start uploading videos, make a specific video uh, every so often just for my Patreons and upload it on there only. Uh, just to say a bit of a thank you for helping me create more videos and it's just the least I can do. I would love to do more. Over time I'm hoping to get to the stage where I can actually do uh, freebies and giveaways and things like that. So at the early stages what I've decided to do is just make specific videos and I might start with just a, like a, a backstage of how I create the videos and just the stuff that's involved in actually doing it. Just a short little walk around and every single Patreon that I get I'm going to give a personal thank you and a shout out in video on the channel as they happen. So a big thank you to everybody who is already a Patreon of mine. Keep an eye out because I'm going to be uploading a video 
relatively soon uh, on the Patreon page, just the first of uh, many to come. So a big thank you again, and I will talk to you in the next video.